Final topic of the day. You were just in Michigan. Jim Harbaugh to the NFL. It goes back and forth, back and forth. We get a report that he's certainly leaning towards going back to the NFL. And then you hear, well, actually, it's more likely than not that he is going to stay at Michigan. And then this week, it becomes more, you know, he's reaching out to more potential candidates to be on his coaching staff, etc. It looks like he might be going to the NFL. We won't hit too much on Harbaugh, but... All of the latest smoke right now is that Matt Rule has been in contact with people that would be uh, able to get him the Michigan job if it were to open. I would be a little bit surprised at Rule bowing out after just two years, but the way that things have gone at Carolina, would this surprise you if he were to leave and go to Michigan? Now, this is obviously a Penn State guy. He played at Penn State. He went to high school at State College High School or, or whatever the, the area school is up there. He is from Penn State. But if you get a chance to get back into college, into college football, the Michigan job is certainly one of the better options out there, right? I, I think That's that right. this would be a, a home run for both guys, uh, yep. both Michigan and Matt Rule. Yeah, great. Does it, does it surprise you at all? No, it doesn't surprise me. I think that's a a match made in heaven if it happens. But you know how I feel about this stuff. I hate this, you know, message board bullshit. I don't I don't give any credence to it. I don't give any volition to it. I don't care about any of it. Because you hear nine million stories about a Yeti and nobody ever sees a Yeti. Okay. <laughs> like it's just this is just it. Like like they're wrong ninety nine percent of the time. But yeah. they'll get one thing right. And then everyone will just give them a ton of credit for that. Think that they have some type of inside knowledge. I don't know that that the people who make the decisions at Michigan definitely know that they can get him or that he can get that job if he wants it. Yeah. And yeah. maybe that's true. But, but I, you know, I'm not going to take these morons' word for it. No, no, I totally... Uh, I need to hear a real reporter tell me. D- Dan Wetzel is the number one college football cover man in the country, and he is based out of Michigan, okay? No one's more connected in that state, in that area than him. I need to hear it from him on his podcast or hear him write about it. Yeah, yeah, I can... I, I see where you're coming from on that. Um, like, I'm not listening to these guys talk about it. I'm just not. I'm not hearing that. And so, CBS Sports brought this up about Matt Rule being interested. Sports Illustrated did an article on it, etc. 247. Is he interested if the job opens is a different story than he has the job in the bag if he wants it. Those are two different things. True. I'm True. interested in a lot of things. I'm not going to have them. I'm not going to have access to them. Apparently, uh, this has something to do with why the search for an offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers is not going exactly well. Pep Hamilton turned them down. You know, he's there's there's been multiple guys that have turned down the Panthers at this point, and I think part of that is because they don't know the stability of the situation, right? Yeah. And I don't know that I blame them, which is why we both believed that Ryan Day was never going to take the Chicago Bears job, even though he had been linked to it in the in the media multiple times, because he went out and hired. A bunch of defensive staff, but I see. Right? I disagree with that. I just don't. I don't think that matters because you still have this job to do. Okay, if right. the Carolina job was a good job, then these OCs, these OCs would be taking it because it's a good job to be the defensive coordinator at Ohio State and to get that contract. And if Matt Rule leaves and you lose your your job and your livelihood, you don't think they're capable of going and getting another job. They'll be like the hottest guys on the market. A, they're going to get paid for this year to do nothing. And if they don't get retained by the next staff. So true. Like, like, no, you have to keep doing the job you're doing now, regardless of what you might end up doing in a week or two. Okay. I I can see where you're coming from. I don't think those things are correlated at all. At all. Okay. I can get down with that. All right. So, Ed, so bottom line, you would not be surprised if rule is interested in this job. If it were to open. That's right. And I think get, it's going to, there's a part of me that I think it's going to open, but that's because I think the NFL game is better than the college game. And I think these guys are all professionals. And I think Harbaugh was a hell of a success in the, in the professional game. And I think he can be again. I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. 
I just don't know if you have the ability to coach at that level, why you would not coach at that level. I, I think there's some great college football coaches, great ones. And, and I don't think any of them are as good as 90% of the pro coaches. They're just not. Because if they were, they'd be up there doing that. And you have a very, very strong point. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.